Warren, and this is Men to Boys Day at Lincoln School, and I'm here at the coolest table, am I not? Yeah! I'm here with, each one's gonna run and say their name. Are we ready? Yeah. You ready? Because you're first, you're not ready? You first? Okay, he's gonna say your name, are you ready? Okay, I'm here at the cool table, and I am with? Christopher. Justin. Kaden. Ezra. Name? Daryl. Xavier. Marcel. Sanjay. Schneider. Daniel. Christopher. Christopher. Sebastian. And Justin. And finally? Hi, John. There it is, the cool table right here in Lincoln, Men to Boys Day. All right, I'm here with the future president of the United States of America. What's your name? Zachariah. Zachariah is here for Men to Boys Day. How you doing in school? Good. There you have it, future president, doing very well in school. Yes, sir. The future CEO of America. What's your name? Jay Wynn. How you doing in school? Good. There you have it, two geniuses on the scene. We're here at Lincoln School. I am here with, como se llama? Jorge. Juan. We're here at Lincoln School getting wisdom and nourishment. I'm Mayor Warren, Lincoln Avenue School. I'm here at Lincoln Avenue School. What's your name? Jamal. Now, Jamal, you represent this table. Tell me about the guys at this table. Uh, there are uh, a handful of wonderful kids. Like, we have a lot of talent in our mind, and we work really hard to get That's what it's all about. Let me get their names. Zion. Dominic. Makai. Dylan. Ralph. And? Ryan John Dickelson. There you have it. We're at Lincoln Avenue School. Thank you, Jen. All right. Ryan, we're here at Lincoln Avenue School again. Who do we have here? My name's Ryan Jordan Gute, and I'm his Hello. Hello, my name is Leontay Miller. Hey, it's me, J. Juan Manson, and I am, I am, I'm here to learn. Yes, sir. Hi, my name is Angel Daniel Collado Hernandez. We're at Lincoln Avenue School. These gentlemen are here to learn, get excited about their futures. I'm at Lincoln Avenue School, and this is a scholar table of young men I am here with. Ryan, Ryan, Frankie, Kendrew, Tion, Marlon. Uh, hi. My name is Lucci. Jerry, Will Neal, Dylan Alexander, Josiah Charles, Brian. There we have the whole table. We're here. We're scholars. We're geniuses. We're ready to go. What's your name? John. You here to learn today? Yeah. You gonna have breakfast today? Yeah. Excellent. Good seeing you. We're at Lincoln Avenue School. We're ready to learn. Lincoln Avenue School, I'm here with? Daniel Perez. Brian Santos. What's so important about today? Men! Men. That's what it's all about today here at Lincoln Avenue School. Thank you, sir. Today is Men's Day at Lincoln Avenue School. I am here with Board of Education member, Mr. Armstrong. Um, sir, tell us why we're here today. We're here to honor our young scholars and stuff, boys and men. We're here to mentor you guys, and we're here to show you the right path to go. There you have it. Let's see who we have here today. Your name? My name is Ethan. My name is Sebastian. My name is Adrian from... My name is Alex. My name is Tay John. My name is Teray. Hi, my name is Andres. My name is Wisdom. There you have it. Men's Day. The boys are growing into men. Lincoln Avenue School. I'm here at Lincoln Avenue School, and we're mentoring the young men. I'm here with? Firefighter Cleveland. Firefighter Orta. Um, you thought that mentoring was important. Why is that? Oh, because besides being a leadership, I'm also a war vet, too. So I'm from Orange. It's, it's good to bring back to the, the city and have them come back and help us out. Natural fit to give back. You're a firefighter. You're a dad. You're all those other things. Why are you here today? I'm also a veteran, too. I want to teach these kids that we, it's, it's not easy, but we all come through it. We, it's all possible. Everything is possible. That's what we're here to show today. Men of every stripe, every experience, they're right here today. Your name? Jaden. Mono. Christian. There you have a glimpse of genius right here at Lincoln Avenue School. The chief of the fire department is on the scene. Um, chief, why is today so important? Man, it's important to give back to the, to the young men that I used to be. They need to know that they can become and achieve anything in their life and in their dreams. 
It all can be possible, and I'm one of them. I'm looking at myself. Looking in the mirror, that's what we're doing today. Your name, sir? Anthony. Your name? Jonah. Your name? Juan. Elijah. Liam. Joseph. Delonte. Jonathan. This is what genius in our community looks like. If you're at Lincoln Avenue School, you are a man that wants to give back. And certainly we have our full complement of firefighters out. Uh, Brother Jennings, you're out here today. Um, you have babies at home. Um, but here you're mentoring these young men. Because I understand the importance of being a visual aid so they can see what it is to uh, be for your community and uh, understand that it's very important to give those uh, things to the kids for the future. Looking at ourselves so they can see what they can be in the future. That's what it's all about. Uh, Captain Cummins, the breakfast is good, um, but you're more excited about the mentorship. Absolutely. I mean, this is the future of the city. This is the future of, you know, this country, and these are, you know, the kids that we have to raise the right way. Pouring back into our future. Let's see, who do I have here? What's your name? Justin. Kai John. Zachariah. Justin. Christopher. Daniel. Jason. And last but not least. Sebastian. There it is, the future of Orange at this table. How does it feel to be out here today? It feels good. I mean, I'm pretty excited. That's the kind of excitement all throughout this room and this school at Lincoln Avenue School. I'm Mayor Warren. Lincoln Avenue School, and if it's Lincoln Avenue School today, that means men are here. Men who want to give back to the community and the maestro of today's event, uh, Dr. Fitzhugh, you turned this school into a mentoring uh, laboratory today. Tell me what that's all about. We do believe that is an important um, piece in our strategy for our young gentlemen to see positive role models so that we can teach them how to pay it forward. Holistically, we've done this at the high school and now we're gonna bring it forth to every school in the district. And not to forget our young ladies because that's the next part of our strategy, Mayor. That's what it's all about, catching them while they're young. Young man, please come forward a little bit. Who are you? Why'd you come out today? Uh, so my name is Dr. Wilson. We're all fraternity brothers. We're Kappa yes. men. So I We're came. What? We're all Kappa men. So K-A-P-P-A. K-A-P-P-A-L-P-H-A-P-S-I. That's okay. right. So no, I came at the Good Brothers' request to help support the initiative with the young men. So well, 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 well day uh, spent. Doctors, lawyers, maintenance people, firefighters, public servants, they're all here today to make sure that our youth can see themselves into the future. I'm here at Lincoln Avenue School. It's mentoring day. You got part of it on. Yeah, I'm Mayor Warren, and I'm here with a group of distinguished gentlemen. Yes, sir. Dion Patterson, principal of Haywood Avenue School. Now you also are part of an illustrious clan of men who have historically stood tall. What organization is that? Kappa Alpha Psi Fraternity Incorporated, the best fraternity. It's excellent, excellent, excellent. You said it well, you said it well. <laughs> yes, sir. How you doing? Barry DeVoe, Community Engagement Officer, Orange Public Schools, immediate past bosses of the mighty, mighty 85 chapter. Wow, wow. Here to service the young men today, we have a great event. Um, we're going to be tying ties. There's going to be some motivational speakers. We have the mayor here. We have Judge Hackett here. We have superintendent of schools, chief of police, um, or rather the police director, chief of the fire department, a bunch of local dignitaries. So we're just excited to bring um, a great program to the youth in Orange. Uh, that program is powerful, Judge. Uh, sometimes you have the unfortunate uh, happenstance to have these children before you on a negative side. Tell me what it feels like to see this positivity in this room. Well, I was glad to be here. I'm Judge Michael Hackett at Orange Municipal Court. Um, it's good to see the kids here. We all, I always get a chance to, when I get a chance to speak to the kids, we had a group of kids at our courthouse last night viewing one of our trials. Um, I want them to see how the justice system works. So there's other alternatives. So 
You you start from the beginning. You start from the ground floor. You make good choices. You want I let them see what happens when you don't make good choices. So they need to know all of this. So I'm here just to make sure that they understand that that there are alternatives. Um, there are safe and legal ways to do everything when you're confronted with different situations. So I just want to make sure that they're they know their rights. They're educated, and uh, they'll be productive citizens. Excellent. Thank you, Dr. Hackett. Uh, Chief Judge Hackett, Orange Municipal Court, um, has been in this town for a long time, sat in these seats, and is now coming back to give back to the community. I'm Mayor Warren. We're at Lincoln Avenue School. I'm Mayor Warren, and once again, I'm surrounded by distinguished men in our community. Sir, you are? Mr. Yearwood, Principal of Lincoln Avenue School. Uh, so, Mr. Year, we're in your house right now. Um, normally, they're just serving food in here. Um, there are kids communicating, but today is a special purpose. Yes. Um, at first, I need to give thanks to Mr. O, our community family liaison, for hosting this event. This is something that we do annually um, to bring the community together, to inspire our youth. Um, this is a great event, and I'm really looking forward to what uh, you and other members of the community are going to share with our students today. Brother O, tell us your name, your full title, um, and you haven't been here that long. Yeah, so uh, my name is Damian Autry. Uh, everybody at the school knows me as Mr. O. Um, fun fact, about three years ago, I was here um, during an internship, and that's when we had the first um, Boys to Men breakfast, and it was a really good uh, event, just inspiring the youth, like Mr. Yearwood said, and I would never be able to make anything like this possible without everyone that um, contributed. We have people that's bringing ties for the boys to help them tie, and every, all the volunteers that showed up to help out the young men. That's what it's all about. You'll see uh, Mr. O dressed in his very fine affair because this is his brainchild. Um, when he came as an intern, uh, you grabbed me and said, Mayor, I'm going to be in a position one day to make a big conference happen, to bring mentorship, and today, here we are. Yeah, Dreams can come true. All things are possible. I'm at Lincoln Avenue School, and today is Mentorship Day. I'm at Lincoln Avenue School. I'm here with Michael Lewis. Michael Lewis, what are you doing here? Working. <laughs> why is it important for them to see you working here on a regular basis? Well, the reason why it's important is because kids need to see men around, you know, and men make a difference, you know what I mean? And just being here it helps, you know what I'm saying? They get to see an example of what men are. That's what it's all about. Yeah. Uh, Brother Holmes, you serve in many capacities um, in this city, but you're always looking to uh, drag youth forward. Tell me what that's all about. Because it's very important that we reach back to where we came from so we can help bring others to where we are now and, uh, and, and bypass us. It's important because this is our future. And if they don't do it right, we're the older generation, the OGs, we're in trouble. So. The OGs are in trouble if they don't get it right. So come on out, participate, and be a mentor. Thank you, gentlemen. Appreciate you, man. Today is Mentorship Day. As a leader of Kappa Alpha Psi, we have mentored and tried to carry through the cues that are still following us, and here we are today. Councilwoman Woot, today is Men's Mentoring Day. What brings you out? Because I raised a couple of men in my lifetime, and I, I live with the best man that ever was, Oscar Wooten. So I felt it not robbery to come and support these men. Raised by POW vet, raised boys, and wants to make sure that we bring the proper boys uh, into the world. Thank you for all that you do. Good morning, everyone. I know folks are still in the back.
not getting their breakfast. So I know that is important, equally as important. Gentlemen, our young men, let's get loud. Get loud! From the bow ties to the regular ties, you guys are on straight swag today. I love it. I didn't wear my bow tie today, though. So you have your tie, your regular tie, or your bow tie, or your button shirt, stand up. And that includes all the other men in the room. Are you? Wait a minute, wait a minute. We have college shirts over here. You see that, you see the college shirt? Yeah, I come to right? And I think what is, okay, we can sit down, we can sit down. What I think is really important, what I think is really important is that we put together these events across the district so that we can all celebrate the greatness of becoming men. I have a 10 year old son, and if he didn't have to come to school today, I would have brought him here so he could have partake in this great activity. I want you to ask any question of the men that are in the building who have become men. Because when I was in when I was in school in fifth grade, sixth grade, in the 1980s, yeah, 1980s, we didn't have these type of events. But I did have a principal who would go to the houses, who would go and speak to the children, and make sure they were good. And I think many folks in here know who that principal was. It was Mr. Henry Hamilton, the principal of Whitney East Houston Academy of Stars. So for those that know him, you know that type of person who's going to go and knock on that door. And I think you have a principal here at Lincoln who does the same exact thing. So young men, do we agree? Yes! We also have staff at Lincoln who do the same thing for you. So today is about you. We are learning how to tie some bow ties, tie some regular ties, have great conversation. And I believe you missed if I did not think Mr. Devone and his team, Mr. O, where's Mr. O? He's behind me. Let's give Mr. O a round of applause. Thank you for this work without you, and thank you for being a leader amongst men in the school district. We appreciate you, and we honor you. One more round of applause, Mr. O. To our, our friends from the Lady South Five who are here today, as they were on Saturday, I would like to say thank you to you, to our brothers of the almighty, the best fraternity in the world, Kappa Alpha Psi Fraternity Incorporated. See, Mayor Warren is in the back, he didn't even hear what I said. Hey, sorry. There we go. In closure, I just came back from a pilgrimage to um, Morehouse University. And when I was amongst these young men and having a conversation with them about leadership, all I thought about was today's event. And they said if it wasn't for peer mentoring, they would not be where they are today. So guess what? We are starting a partnership with Morehouse University, so stay tuned for that, because we walked the college with the president on Wednesday. With that being said, I would be remiss if I did not um, recognize my executive team that's in the back. So executive team, from our assistant superintendent to our school business administrator, our assistant school business administrator, our executive team members. If you just stand, please just give some love. Councilman I thank you for being here. Stacey Martin, I thank you for being here. Everybody knows Stacey Martin, right? To our friends from the Orange Police Department and Orange Fire Department, we can't do this work without you. Every time we call, you come Johnny on the spot, so thank you. Two more things, and I'm gonna be quiet. Mr. Reggie Miller, can you stand for a minute? From the moment I came here in 2019, He's adopted me as a brother, he's my brother, and I want to thank you for all you do in this tradition around this city. Without you, our boys would not be coming. So thank you, Mr. Brother. I'd be remiss if I not bring up to the stage my big brother, my board member, my advisor, Mr. David Armstrong. 
Thank you, Doc. The one thing I have to learn is not to go behind the superintendent of school at all. So I'm still learning. Listen, Lincoln! I want to bring warm greetings from the president of the Board of Education, Ms. Johnson, vice president of the Board of Education, Ms. Grace Sandy, and the rest of my colleagues that stood on the Board of Education. They wish they could have been here to participate in this great event, but unfortunately they had other commitments. So they might not be here physically, but they are here spiritually. All right? Let's get a hand and pull out for them. And just real quick, for those who don't know me, I spent the last 10 years before I got elected to the Board of Education as the PTO president of Lincoln Avenue Elementary School. So Lincoln that, I am home. I am home, and thank you very much. And I'm gonna give this back to you, Mr. O. Enjoy, guys. Thank you guys so much. At this time, I would like to introduce Mayor Warren. All of you guys are ready. <laughs> so thank you very much for coming out, Mr. Warren. If you love Lincoln School, please let me hear you. Thank you to our principal, to our superintendent of schools. Um, something like this is just important. It is not only important for the young men, it is important for the men in the room. If you're a man in the room, let the children hear you. That's what men sound like. I, I do want to deeply thank you for coming out because our children need to touch, see, and feel what they can be in the future. And certainly they want to be somebody in this room and beyond. So thank each and every one of you for coming. Um, I don't know about any of you men, but nothing that I have ever touched or organized or been successful at has happened without a woman. So please give the ladies in the room a round of applause. Gentlemen, we're here today because we want to listen, we want to learn, we want to absorb some greatness from the people we have in this room. So I want you to give them your full attention, even as you eat, even as you fidget, even as you joke around. I want you to listen to all of the men in this room because we want you to leave here transformed and ready for your next step in life. Can we do that? Yeah. Excellent. Superintendent of Schools, um, you work very hard every day to make sure that we pay attention to our young people. Mm -hmm. I want to thank you for doing that. Um, I want to thank, where is our police director? Please stand up. Where is our fire chief? Please stand up. These men are in this room. They serve in my administration. I will admit that we do not pay them enough. I do not give them enough increases. Where is the chief judge of the municipal court? Judge Hackett, stand up. I do not pay these men enough money. I have not given them enough raises. I certainly call them all hours of the night to work, so they don't know if they work from 9 to 5, 11, they don't know which shift they work. But they do it all the time with a smile, with a sense of dedication, because that is what real men do. They dedicate themselves to a task, and they do it unflinchingly once they make a commitment. So please give a round of applause to the gentlemen in my administration that show up each as they sit down, I want to put a disclaimer, they will continue not to get paid that much. They'll continue to work hard. Um, thank you to our council colleague, Agent Wu, who's here representing the city council. We can't do anything without the other branch of government. Thank you, city council, for all that you do. To the rank and file, police and fire, please.
please stand up. Please stand up. Rank and file, peace and fire. Let's hear you. Let's hear you. Stand up all over the room. They constantly go into dangerous situations and try to bring about peace. And there's something to be said about the wisdom that they gain on a regular basis. Thank you guys for all that you do. Listen. Here's my last thing. Whatever grade you're in, that is the most important grade in your life. Because you have to do well at that grade to go on to greatness. No matter what you want to do in life, it's going to take some education. It may take college, it may take technical school, it may take a certification program, but it's going to take some education. So my last thought to you is to please do well at educating yourself. Thank you. I'm Mayor Warren and I'm Oh, let me just say a quick word about Brother O. He's got Auburn hair. He's got his nice tuxedo jacket on. A young man, but he grabbed me as an intern and said, Mayor, I'm going to bring a conference together so we can continually mentor young men. And from that conversation, we're here today. Brother, thank you. All right, guys. That being said, uh, we have a uh, guest surprise performance for you guys. Um, so for all the young men in the room, you guys know me as Mr. O in the building, but uh, fun fact is that I also sing too. So I'm gonna go ahead and perform for you guys. The change is gonna come by Sam Cook. So hopefully you guys enjoy it.
second. Are you guys ready? Yeah. Um, my question is, um, how much longer can you do when you're talking like that? Not too much longer, right? So we're going to have fun. So here's what I need everybody here to do. I need everybody in here to stand up. But before you stand up, we're going to play a game. Yes, now listen, listen, listen. Walk with me for a second, right? I want everybody here to make sure that you listen because what Mr. O didn't tell you guys is that I'm ranked number one in America, as Simon says. So that means that I'm real nice at what I do, and I'm going to get you out. So he looking like, nah, big brother, you ain't got to change. You're not going to get me out. So if I do get you out, don't get mad. Stay in the game. Sounds good? Are y'all ready? OK, let's play. All right, everybody stand up. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Young men, if this town is going to move forward, do 
we have do we need to have good leadership? Yes, that's taken care of. Do we need good police officers and good firefighters? Yes, that's taken care of. But honestly, those police officers, those firefighters, those mayors, those teachers, those legislators, everybody's gonna have to retire. And one day you're gonna have to fill those shoes. And we want what better person to fill those shoes than the people that we have in our own city. So here's what I need you guys to do, right? Everybody here to bow their heads, close their eyes. I ain't gonna rob you, we ain't gonna pray, we going I want you to think of something real quick. Here's what I need you guys to do. I need everybody in here to picture yourself beyond this moment. You only get a chance to be 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 once. But most importantly, you only get a chance to live once. Who do you see yourself beyond this moment? Now listen, 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 hear me, hear me. Because how we see ourselves matters. I didn't see myself doing much when I was younger, so all I did was get in trouble. I didn't see a bunch of men around me, so all I did was do stuff that I thought men do, but they really don't do. So really, I wasn't surrounded around men, I was surrounded around grown boys. You guys here today are surrounded around men that sacrifice time to make sure that you're here. So I want you guys to really picture yourself beyond this moment. Who do you see yourself being? And here's what I want you guys to remember. If you don't take away anything from what I'm talking about here today is this, right? Is every day I had this motivation that gets me up every day. And it's a Roman numeral number five on my wrist and it stands for my son and my grandmother. My son was born on March 5th, five. My grandma's born on May the fifth month. And so whenever I get tired, whenever I want to make excuses, whenever I want to get mad, frustrated, I look at where my watch is at and I ask myself, Mike, what time is it? I said, it's time to eat. You promised your grandmother when she passed, you're going to do whatever it takes to take care of the family no matter what. It's time to eat. You promised your sons that you're going to be a better dad than your dad. So you can't quit. It's time to eat. My question for you, both the young men and the older men in here is, who needs you more than you need you? If you make this journey about you, you'll stop at you. But there's somebody out there that's waiting for you. Yes, they like to hear from all of us here, but they're going to wait for you, the gift that's inside of you, that was uniquely placed inside of you. But you keep making this journey about you, you keep making decisions based on your feelings and not on your purpose, you're not only selling yourself short, but the person that needs you. So my question is, who are you hunting for? Because what I recognize is this, is that I believe every one of us has that lion inside of us. How do I know you got that lion inside of you? Because the difference between a predator and a prey is where their eyes are located. Predator eyes are in the front, prey eyes are on the side. Eyes on the side likes to hide, eyes in the front loves to hunt. Who are you hunting for? Who are you making this journey about? So guys, I know every moment I wake up, it's time to eat, but I'm questioning you guys, but do you know that it's time to eat? So on the count of three, I'm gonna ask you guys, what time is it? And I'm gonna need you to say it's time to eat. Sounds good? Uh, Alright, on the count of three. One, two, three. What time is it? Alright, hold on, 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 Now listen. Uh, where my brother at? Where's he at? Hey, Al, we've been doing this for a while, bro. How do you think they sound like? You think they sound like cats, lions, koala bears? What do you think they sound like, bro? I don't know. They didn't sound like lions. They didn't sound like lions? Mr. Du Mr. Mr. Du White, you've seen me doing this a while. How do you think they sound? Uh, Mr. Miller, what you think they sound like? We? Come on, boy, E, E, you know. What it sound like, E? It sound like Project Rats, I don't know, right? All right, so, how about this? I need some help. Come up here.
Just ask me. Hey, Mike, what time is it? One at a time. So we're going to start from here. We're going to work our way down. Okay? And then I'm going to let you know what time it is. Sounds good?
This moment was not created just for you guys to start a good work, but to finish a good work, to finish a purpose, to leave a legacy. So when times get rough, when it seems like you don't want to push through, when it seems like it's hard, when it's like you can't catch a break at home or at school, I want you guys to focus on the finish. Because we're not here for you just to start. We're here for you to finish. And when you walk out this room, what's going on when you walk out this building? Remember this one thing. Don't be invisible. Be invited. Today was about mentorship. Um, you blew them away, give them their purpose, and talking them into what they need to be in the future. Tell us what the message is all about. Uh, basically just um, igniting the purpose inside them and making sure that they live in their gifts. Uh, make sure they understand that it's so much bigger than them. That it's about the people that are coming up behind them. So that's one thing I want to always drive to them, to make sure they understand who they are and that this world's waiting for their gift inside of them. We appreciate your message. Um, just give the audience at home a little bit of your journey, how you got to this place, um, because you certainly motivated uh, the kids in this room. Um, well, um, I grew up in Orange. I went to Hayward Avenue, but um, my circuitous route had me go to eight high schools. So, um, you know, having my mom go through so much trouble, um, I said, you know what, um, I, something has to stop, something had to cease. So I remember when I was in my one school, my mom was crying, and she said, hey, you know, Mike, you got to stop, you're killing me. And that's when I recognized that my actions and everything needed to change. And um, I turned all that all around, became the first male to graduate in my family and um, from college. And um, now I just travel to speak and minister to young men, all ages, all businesses. So I'm blessed to do what I do and give back to the community. So I love it. That's what it's all about. It doesn't matter where you started. Um, it's about the finishing, as you talked about. Um, I'm Mayor Warren. We're at Lincoln Avenue School. And these are the geniuses that we want to finish. You gotta stay strong. Okay. Uh, my my name is Xavier. My name is Xavier Sullivan. I've been going to the school for five years, and I got and I got a quarter today. The quarter today is God isolated you for a reason. Follow your follow where your heart is, and don't follow the crowd. Nice, nice. Next scholar. So my name is Marcel, and I'm representing Lincoln right now. I, hold I, on, hold on. Start over. Start over. Go ahead. My name is Marcel, and I represent I, re, I represent Lincoln Avenue School. I I used to I used to like watch basketball videos and just think think about wanting to play 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 in the in the NBA. But then once once I got to Lincoln and I got to the certain grade where I was able to join the their basketball team, the coaches put putting a lot of pressure on me. It just motivated me to become a better a player. Nice, very nice, scholar. Yes, sir. Hi, my name is Darren Cosby. I've been to school for four years, and you have to always, if someone, if someone does something nice to you, you always have to say thank you. And and I play football, basketball, and I'm good at sport. And God loves you always. Very nice, very nice. Hi, my name is Andres, and thank you for the celebrate because I never. Neighbor, pa, I neighbor stay on this school. Um, I'm happy for this party. Thank you and happy new year. Very nice. I'm grateful uh, for this um, ceremony, and I can't remember the last time we did something like this. I'm very grateful for this, and I hope we can do something like this again. Happy new year. Very nice. Very nice. Hi, my name is Samuel, and. All I want to say is be a leader, not a follower. 
and love yourself and love your peers and love everybody that you know. Thank you. Happy New Year. Ha, ha, ha.